Good morning, and welcome to Partner Exchange. I'm going to talk about the value proposition of STDC and how partners are helping our customers, our joint customers, on the journey to the STDC. I was talking, speaking with the head of infrastructure for one of our large customers recently. And he said, I have these three challenges that I need to solve. If I solve them, then I'm a hero. If not, I better find another line of work. The first of these challenges is speed or agility. Delivering applications and infrastructure services at the speed that the businesses need, at the speed that the developers need. The second of his challenges was security. Securing these applications from all types of cyber threats. And the third of his challenges was IT economics. Transforming the economics of internal IT so that it's cost competitive with external clouds. Until recently, only the largest of the best run cloud scale data centers could solve this problem of all these three challenges. The reason they were able to solve these three challenges is because they adopted a fundamentally different architecture than enterprise IT. They adopted an architecture that's based on software. They turned infrastructure into software and then delivered it as services with automating it every step of the way. We have taken the same architectural approach, adapted it to the needs of the modern day enterprise for security and governance and compliance and supporting all applications. The result is the architecture that we call the software-defined data center. This is the architecture that can solve this customer's challenges and many more like this customer. That is why we've seen a 20-fold increase in STDC adoption in the last year, and that's poised to grow even faster this year. And that represents the opportunity for all of us. To build an STDC, you start by virtualizing the compute, which all of our customers have already done. And then you virtualize the network and the storage, and you tie it all together with a layer of automation. At every step of this way, customers do this with the help of you, our partners. Let me show you a few examples. A global technology services company was able to deliver application and infrastructure and middleware services to their developers in six minutes flat. Before they adopted STDC, it was months and weeks to deliver compute storage and network and middleware. This was possible with the help of one of the partners in this room, Advisex. This is a business transformation that could not have happened without STDC because they're now able to roll out new services in weeks as opposed to years. A global technology payments company wanted to protect their payment applications from application threats, from cyber attacks. They found NSX was the only effective solution to doing this and secure PCI compliance along the way. And they did not do this by themselves. They did this with the help of another partner in this room, Triangle. A mid-tier hospital was able to deploy virtual SAN in a very short time with the help of this partner to totally transform the cost of operations of their data center virtualized environment. By the way, with virtual SAN, what we are seeing is every dollar of software spend results in an additional four to five dollars of new hardware spend. Last but not the least, one of our global customers, a globally uh, dispersed bank, has embarked upon a total STDC transformation, not just technology, but people, process, organization, you name it, with a global SI. As you can see from these examples and many more, all of our customers, all of your customers, are laying down the foundation for their next generation infrastructure. And we jointly have the opportunity to become their trusted partner in helping them be successful in this transformation. Thank you very much. Thanks. Raigu, for you. you know, 
whether you go in or any of our ecosystems go in and articulate the value of the software defined data center, very quickly the customer says, ah, I got it, I want it. Mm -hmm. Over the last couple of years, right, we have this great vision, we're starting to execute on the vision, but it, there's still some complexity of deploying the software defined data center in our customers. Uh, what are we doing inside of VMware to make it simpler to consume, and how can our partner ecosystem actually help our customers through this journey to the software defined data center? Yes, Carl. Um, so, all of us are familiar with ESX. When we deployed ESX, it looked and felt like an operating system, uh, relatively simpler. STDC is much broader. It's an entire data center architecture. It's a distributed system. So by definition, it's more involved and more complex. Secondly, when you deploy an STDC, it's not just the architecture. Then there is a different operating model that results as well. So for all of these reasons, deploying an STDC results in a significant opportunity for somebody to hold the hands of the customer and lead them through this process. And this is a significant opportunity for everybody in this room. Having said that, at VMware, we are investing significantly in ways by which we can accelerate this process and create new IP. We are creating validated designs, reference architectures by ourselves, as well as in concert with our uh, technology partners. As uh, you saw Pat talk about, Evo Rack is, and Evo Rail will be fundamentally new architectures that will dramatically simplify this process. And our PSO teams are busy creating the early deployment successes and taking the IP from that and preparing it for delivery to the partner community in this room. So those are some of the steps that we are taking to accelerate the deployment of STDC and make our customers successful. But the net net is this represents an opportunity for all of us to step up and be trusted advisors to our customers. That's great, thanks Raigu. So part of the SDDC uh, architecture is NSX. Right. And you know, looking out in this audience, I'm sure a lot of the, the partners in this audience sell networking solutions and probably uh, primarily hardware networking solutions today. Here comes VMware, again, with innovative disruption, bringing NSX to market and driving a software you know, based uh, networking solution into the market. How can they enjoy both pushing our software platform and disrupting the market, but also enjoy their existing relationships they have with other networking ecosystem partners? Great. So once again, I'll draw an analogy to the early days of ESX that both of us were very familiar with. And I think it was you that said, this is ESX is the most non-disruptive disruptive technology in the market at the time. NSX is very similar, right? It's a layer of software that goes above existing network fabrics. And the customers have a choice of networking fabrics. They can continue to use the existing ones that are serving them so well, right? Or they can use to choose to build a new one. Either way, we help our customers with both. NSX works regardless of what's underneath. And in many cases, what we have found is this is an opportunity for customers, just as it was in the case of ESX, to bring new compute infrastructure They've brought in new networking infrastructure, whether it's a more modern infrastructure from the same partner they have today or uh, some other new partner as well. Secondly, it also opens up the opportunity for new security services from our hardware partners. As you well know, 80% of the spend of the security today by customers is on traffic going in, network traffic going in and out of the data center. 80% of the traffic between applications is inside the data center. Therefore, there is an enormous amount of unprotected application traffic that represents a new opportunity for the security ecosystem. And our trusted part strategic partners like Palo Alto Networks and others are working with us to protect the application traffic inside of the data center. And that represents a net new hardware opportunity as well. Yeah, that's great. So, Raghu, years ago, as you said, the ESX, when it came to market, everyone said the server manufacturers would go out of business, when in yeah. reality what it did is it drove a whole new set of, you know, uh, innovation into the hardware platforms, and Pat was at Intel at the time. We worked closely with him, and we said, hey, how can we innovate in the hardware? So, I think, you know, layering on NSX over this hardware infrastructure will drive innovation all the way around in a data center, but it will do it in a very non-disruptive way, yet disrupting traditional approaches to networking. So, great answer.